All right, so now I'm going to talk about the Sun conjunct Rahu or Ketu. Now, as usual, the Sun, well, as usual with any time a planet is conjunct the nodes, this isn't a super lucky or fortunate thing. Uh, it's usually, you know, the nodes are cruel planets, and so it shows more cruel and tougher karma that we'll have to work on in life. And in general, as I've said before, uh, planets with Rahu or wherever Rahu's at in the chart is where we have not done enough of or worked on in past lives enough and so as a result we're very kind of insecure in that area and uh, we can even kind of be false or we can kind of try to pretend or like you know be false around that area of life and then with K2 we'll be very very uptight about it because K2 is very opposite it's so what we've done very well and so we tend to be doing that thing that K2 is showing pretty well, but not, uh, but we don't see it, and we're very uptight about it, and we need to like, it helps to get a reading and to get some insight on that. So, Sun conjunct Rahu. Uh, one way that I've heard this described really accurately is like they can have what he what's called center of the universe syndrome. That's what my teacher Ernst says about this placement. They can have center of the universe syndrome, and that's really true. Uh, because you can be kind of, uh, well, for males, they can appear to be very, very strong and like confident and radiant and solar, but it's really the opposite a lot of times. And they're trying hard to, like they're being a little false in that. They're trying really hard to present themselves as being really alpha or really solar or a real authority when they are not. Um, and uh, if you're, you know, if you're a woman, you tend to, you can also have a similar thing where you can be a lot more dominant alpha than most women, or you can have it where you're projecting it and you're attracting men that are like that. Kind of depends on the rest of your chart. Um, but so yeah, women who have this in their chart need to be really careful about the men they attract, or if you attract a man who has this in his chart, you have to be really careful because you have to make sure he really is like solid on his path because he will try really hard to present and appear that way and you have to make sure he really is that way, demonstrating that with his actions, not just his words or how he wants to appear, right? Um, because that's the thing, with Sun conjunct Rahu, it means you don't, you haven't done your Sun enough, so you don't really know who you are. You don't really know, uh, like, your destiny as well. You're not that clear about your sense of identity, your connection to the soul, to the Sun, the higher self. It just, again, I know so many people who have this, one in 12 people are going to have this so it's always going to vary not everyone has it this bad or that bad or whatever but you'll you're someone who really needs to go out of your way to develop solar qualities and to develop your sun and to figure out who you are and what you really think what you really believe in this and that um and they usually unless the charts are really good they usually don't tend to find out who they are until around the age of 42 when rahu matures so the people's 40s can be really tough with either of these placements, Sun conjunct Rahu or K2. One thing you notice a lot with this placement is big things will have been like kind of decided by a parent or like an authority or an overly controlling figure. They'll try to control your life so much um, and dictate it and decide everything that you never learn to do the big things or you never learn to step into your son because someone else is kind of always playing that role for you and it makes it harder for you to step into that role as life goes on. So if you have this placement, you have to really like be practice being independent and making decisions independently and not like being someone who has a, some of these authority figures that you're like leaning on too much as a crutch perhaps. Um, because otherwise if you lean too much on the parents, the authorities, the other solar figures determining your government, your news even, all these other authorities, if you if you rely on them, then you never develop your own in, uh, inner authority and your own intelligence. The sun is the planet of being intelligent. So with Sun Rahu, it means you're actually learning to develop that left brain intelligence uh, a lot more in this life. Um, the ability to really think through a situation and solve the problem and get to the right result. Whereas the moon is just all knowing. The sun is the one who has to be intelligent and figure things out. I always find that really fascinating. So if you have this placement, oh, you have to be careful not letting others do this stuff for you because then you'll never develop your intelligence and as a result, you'll f be more 
scared you know what I mean um, like you'll be more scared to take things or to be the leader or be more scared that like you won't be intelligent or that others won't you know praise you or give you that status um, because this person wants to have that status they want to be number one they're trying really hard and um, but deep down they don't feel like they're number one so they're false they feel a little false and they have to work through a lot of shit until they don't feel that way so much um, in fact, with women who have this, they can suffer what we call imposter syndrome. Uh, it tends to be experienced more by women than men, uh, but it's the idea of like, you know, reaching up to a really high eminent position and deep down you feel like you don't deserve it or you're an imposter or whatever. Um, so that's something that I've seen a little bit going on with this as well the imposter syndrome if you feel like you or you know anyone who's had that let me know because I'm still kind of studying that um, and researching it but I have seen a correlation there between that and displacement they can always feel this need to be first you know afraid of not being first that's what Ernst says about displacement they can be afraid of not being the number one the first person they can even have frequent dreams where someone is taking their place as number one. You know, someone's taking their place in the job, or someone's sleeping in their bed, or has other has some in other in some other form. You know, like they're taking your spot, or there's threat. This feeling you can feel just threatened, even not in dreams, but just in real life. Um, finding someone else in your position in work or whatever, um, and. You, you can notice some people, if this is really afflicted or more challenged, you can notice them going and doing really crazy things in order to be first. You know what I mean? Um, because there can be such a great fear that they're not going to be number one, that they'll do ridiculous things. Um, they'll t oftentimes, when there's an obvious person who is the real authority, they'll try to challenge them or boss the boss around, and it just kind of makes them not look as good a lot of times. So please try not to do that if you have this. Um, you know, like, if your son is really good, you might get away with it, um, <laughs> and you might be the one who's meant, to, and you know, in a way, they're meant to have, like, these, these, these challenges and these battles, and because the Shatri, son is a Shatria planet, but you have to just be careful about that, because sometimes it's just coming from a false place of trying to compensate or feeling insecure yourself, right? So you boss the boss around, and then you get fired, and then you're just in a worse place or something, right? Um, but not always. Uh, sometimes it could work out well. The rest of the chart would really explain that. But, uh, yeah, these people, when they're confused, they'll just get more and more pushy and ruthless, you know? Um, rather than a true son, a true leader won't just do that. He will be magnanimous and he'll wait or he'll take responsibility and say, I'm not clear at this moment. I'm not sure what to do. He'll seek good counsel or whatever. These people will just uh, kind of behave in a less mature son way when they're pushed into a corner. And uh, there's another weird tendency. I've noticed that people with this are always um, getting, they're always kind of like grown up, really overly emphasized. Like I know one guy who had this and he went to some like, he's not a very smart guy, but he, his dad like forced him into some Mensa type of like school for gifted kids, you know? And all it did was give him this idea that he has to be like a brainiac intellectual person. He's not that really, or he's like, he's not, He's just not that innately, and he's not really, like, in, it just seems like it's, like, a concept in his head that's not really serving him that well, if, if I can just be blunt about it. Um, so, it's like you have to learn to kind of decondition some of these ideas that you, that got pushed upon you when you were young. Um, that's definitely, uh, you know, so... You, in a way, you're, you're like some with Rahu, you're meant to be center of the universe, but you're the true leader would never really act in an immature way about that. So it's just tough. They, these people have to at least push the boundary a little bit here and there, though, to know where it is. So don't beat yourself up if you've been like too bossy or too pushy or too much of a center of a, too much of like a toxic king, which is what this could indicate because you won't really ever know the border unless you push it, right? So with this placement, you're, you have to forgive yourself. You're meant to make mistakes and push too hard, but then you see, okay, that was the boundary. I know not to do that anymore. You know what I mean? And, and that's kind of maybe sometimes the only way we can, can figure out what 
the boundaries, where we need to be the leader, where we don't need to, etc. So yeah, they're, it's interesting because they get told that they're like specialer, they're better, they're alpha, they're number one, you're the better student, you're going to this school, you know what I mean, you're going to that school, things like that. But then they still aren't given the freedom or the control or the responsibility that is actually appropriate for someone like that as they're growing up. And so then they don't get the, t the, t the opportunities to act and demonstrate their real competency because they're being suppressed by their father or parents. Um, so it can be like, then they can feel like they have to catch up when they're later on in life, when they move on past that, they have to do some extra work on son, be extra boss in order to catch up or to prove that their parents, that they were able to, you see, you see all these complexes can come in. So that's basically one major layer of son Rahu, you know, um, like that movie in R Talladega Nights where his dad is like if you ain't first you're last you know what I mean this idea of like oh if I don't if I'm not great I won't get love or whatever it can th that can kind of come up um, and yeah they can actually disappoint the people that they lead if they are not working on these things but then as time goes on they usually do but as some examples of that um, well uh, um Here's a lot of different Sun people. Um, Ashley Judd, Brooke Shields, Elizabeth Taylor, Greta Garbo, Jane Fonda. These are all like huge Sun, you know, star women. You know what I mean? So all these women were m women who uh, had to play more of an authoritative masculine role, if you think about it, um, and maybe didn't want to. And some of them might have even felt imposter syndrome. I don't know, but maybe. Um... There's the guy, uh, Dan Harmon, who created uh, the television show Community and Rick and Morty and stuff. He has this placement, and he's constantly being a really, uh, like, immature leader, in my opinion. Or, like, he constantly has gotten in fights and arguments with fans on Twitter over, like, stupid things that don't mean it, don't, that aren't important, you know. And a, a, a figure that famous, you know, why would you, yeah, it's just, it's just it kind of makes sense that he has Sun Rahu um, because he's a lot more petty um, than he could be. And even his TV show is... I don't know. I'm not going to go into that, but kind of childish. Um, and then uh, the Great Fire of Rome, well, that was during an eclipse. The Titanic's maiden voyage, those were two major sun eclipse things. Um, uh, Tyra Banks, she's a very, like, alpha kind of female figure who has it. So she, I don't know, but she's probably had a lot of men that have not been who they said they were if she had displacement. Um, and then remember the false leader. So Che Guevara has displacement. I'm not saying anything against her for it, but for, if you think about it, like Che Guevara, he's just, his image has been like plastered on so many posters of college kid t-shirts and pseudo hippies are always wearing his shirts and all this stuff for like so long. And um, that's sort of a Sun Rahu thing. Like most kids in college who wore a Che Guevara t-shirt didn't know anything about him. Let's put it that way. Um, then uh, Pope Francis, another false leader in some ways. Um, Obama's inauguration. Obama himself has son with Rahu. Bernie Sanders has son with Rahu. Karl Marx has son with Rahu. Um, Weird Al Yankovic has son with Rahu. Um, Donald Trump has son with Rahu. So you see the you see the pattern going on. A lot of these people I named are people that the masses have expected them to be a really great leader that they idealize and then it kind of didn't really come out that quite that way <laughs> i'm just speaking generally um there's a really famous astrologer who in my opinion is kind of a faker and he's started a big debate a few years ago and made himself look like a fool and he has this placement and he's not the authority that he acts like in my opinion and i happen to know from inside things people shared with me um Ramdas has this, you know, and Ramdas was kind of someone who was like sort of intellectual and not super always sincere in his path. And then he, it probably took him a long time. I think super, he was super sincere before he passed away and then he had that stroke and all those things. But you know, if there was a while when he was, you know, you could see that this chart, he probably struggled with these issues. Um, and he did admit how he had a lot of problems like speaking and being authority in front of people. He would have crazy diarrhea after he would give speeches. 
Um, but Ramdas is a good. He's got really strong karma overall. He's got a lot of strong planets. And I think the sun was exalted. So that's an example of someone who I think's worked with this well, but has also had some toxic leadership or uh, qualities if you if you looked into it. Um, so yeah, that's probably a good enough example on Sun Rahu. In fact, this video is 15 minutes long. I think I might need to make a second video on Sun K2. So I'll make a second video on that. But um, yeah, hope you enjoy this and leave your comments, thoughts, feedback if you, you know, if you find this Sun Rahu video to be to relate to be accurate. And uh, yeah, um, nothing much else to share. Still teaching the uh, financial astrology courses. Check that out. Um, just taught the seventh class last Friday. It was really good. It was on the moon and prosperity and how to be in the flow of prosperity. How to it was you know how to trade and you know use the moon when to buy and sell and went over all the lunar yogas for wealth and the dana yogas and how to see those in the chart of a person or a coin or a stock or a business or all kinds of things. So check that out. And then, um, yeah, my book is almost done on mythology and movies. So that's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully I'll have that done by the end of the year, but no guarantees. All right. Thanks, y'all. Oh, and if you can guess what this this tree is, you get a bonus point. All right. This one, too. Can you guess what this is? All right. Extra credit for anyone who can guess what those two are. All right. Bye, you guys.